Hey there, this is Yoshi. Uh, today, I finally am trying to uh, deflask my, uh, this is a, a Rinko Stylus Orange. Um, believe me or not, this is, uh, <laughs> I bought this probably two years ago and never uh, bothered to open it, um, which I'm hoping it will be today. Um, doing this today finally because uh, my kids, my assistant, are not here at this point. Uh, and hopefully I'll get some done. Uh, I might have some interruption in the middle because they're out and went to Costco. And I might come back down, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, now, um, here's the thing. Um, those guys won't come out from here. What I do usually is, here's a hammer, here's a bag, and uh, this is a trick I learned from uh, Ellen Kopi from Olympic Orchids. Try to crack from right here, and uh, if I do it right, then whole bottom should just come off and uh, I will have an easy go. So that's what I'm gonna do um, in the bag. So I will make a mess. But then after that, it needs to come in here where I'm going to put some uh, lukewarm water in it to wash it out. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right now, so I'm going to probably edit the crashing sound because it's gonna be too noisy. But uh, here we go. Like I said, I am trying to uh, aim around here, the bottom of the thing here. Okay. Okay. So the bottom part came off. So. Um, now I'm going to uh, use this. The, the, this is the reason why I'm using this. And take out the whole thing from the bottom. Just like so. And uh, now this one goes in. That was my timer for my uh, uh, pasta. So I gotta go. But in between, I should wear gloves actually, because especially because I was dealing with the glasses too, a piece of glass too, and uh, my pasta's up. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, now I am uh, kind of uh, massaging it down. So that agar or yeager or whatever you call it, those uh, media jelly thingy will come off. It would just melt. It takes time. That's why I uh, was why I've been hesitant to uh, do this. Um, and I have been honestly. Um, if you do it right, they grow fine inside of a jar for a long, long time. Uh, sometimes uh, it gives you a, a bump when you uh, deflask like if you deflask right away sometimes the uh, plants not um, grown enough and uh, it just dies after you deflask it so sometimes it's good to uh, be a little patient and leave it alone for a while uh, obviously I waited too long but um, anyway so this is probably part one uh, I'm going to share, I did this before, but I'm going to share with you how I make a compot and uh, I also have, what is this, it's like huge roots going on, um, <clears throat> but you know, just I do this every time, so um, I'm going to share with you how I make a compot 
probably in the part one. I mean, the part two. Here we go. This one's looking really good. And I do have a compot um, growing exactly the same species, actually. The uh, Rinko Stylus uh, orange. And uh, yeah. And this is pretty normal to have those. If you want to try to save it, go ahead. I probably will too, but usually it dies. Okay, now, <clears throat> here's that, and uh, what I'm gonna do for this, I have a sphagnum moss, it's dried out. <laughs> Actually, I tried to do this so many times, I made a media get ready for this, and uh, uh, took me till now, so it just kind of dried off, but it's got a, a sphagnum moss, a charcoal, and uh, our prolite um, and uh, the big enough plants I'm going to put it in a mesh basket like you know probably those will be in single pot single pot single pot um, and also there are some stuff that you need to be careful about when you defrost light way so I'm gonna talk about that now. So, all right. Alrighty, so my monsters came home. So from oh, now on, <laughs> so from now on, I'm gonna uh, take out the talking parts. Uh, you can just watch and uh, probably put some music on or something like that. Okay, what I did here is kind of a classified by size, kind of bigger ones and small ones. Those are the ones going into the compound. Okay. Well, so I totally forgot that today was Monday night, uh, second Monday night. That means we have a, a Northwest Orchid Society meeting. Uh, this time it's in Zoom meeting. They canceled the actual uh, meeting in Seattle um, which is kind of sad but you know what needs to be done needs to be done you know the um, virus is uh, going viral around here so you know they gotta do what they gotta do but anyways so well, the meeting is done um, so let's uh, keep going um, while I was in um, meeting I put the top this is a just regular shoe box right this is a shoe box too so I put another shoe box on top to uh, keep uh, moisture high um, <clears throat> one thing I'm talk uh, I need to talk about or mention about is that they are in container and they used to 100% uh, humidity in there so when you deflask you have to uh, I think about that um, it comes out to a real world where like this right now right here is like a 31 percent it's way too low and a lot of uh, uh, seedlings after deflasking can't take it so 
I'm going to show you in probably part two. Um, but uh, uh, you kind of have to make it get used to it. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's take a look about what can be potted. Because look at this guy. This is pretty good size. Um, I'm going to just simply put it in the mesh pot. Um, and even that is little, look at that. This is two inch mesh pot and might actually do well. Uh, actually, um, instead of doing that, I'm going to physically wrap it with my hand like this. Try not to snap the roots. The, you know how Rinko Stylus' uh, roots are. It's easy to break. So. And just like that. I'm not too worried about all those roots exposed. I mean, they're bandas after all. They like moisture. Rinko Stylus likes a lot of moisture, but still, they will be okay. Just like that. And, uh, this mesh pot actually dries out rather quick. So that's done. One done. Just like so. I think about a four of them can be potted like that. And the rest of them uh, probably compot. What I'm gonna do is, uh, again, it's already kind of separated per size, but I'm going to do that again um, because I want a similar size in the same compact, you know what I mean? So, and again, I always tell you this, but seedlings, when you grow seedlings, um, don't expect all of them to be alive or make it to blooming size. It's a sacrifice will happen, or well, I wouldn't say sacrifice, I guess, but you know, always, they always, some of them will just not gonna make it. It's just the nature. <clears throat> Probably this one. Just like so. And you know, when you uh, wash the agar, uh, when you deflask it, you can actually do like, you, you can make a solution of a, like Fizan 20 or something like that. Um, and uh, this is not good. Let's do this again. Um, I see a lot of YouTubers does that way and you know I'm sure that's good for orchids um, but uh, as far as I am concerning about whatever the uh, mold and whatnot I uh, actually I don't see any difference um, in my opinion yeah, I mean, if, if you take really, really good care of it, the rate of success is higher, but um, I don't really see the necessity of using Fison 20 or whatnot to uh, make the... Um, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Try to avoid the rot, I guess. Is that the word? Or is that the term? I don't know. But uh, I don't really see the actual necessity of doing that. Um, at least I never have noticed a difference. Uh, and then I actually did it before. But uh, unfortunately, orchids die when they don't, the, the, the strength of the plant itself is strong enough. Um, 
And of course, you try to avoid that as much as you can, but uh, crap happens no matter what you do. That's my opinion.、Uh, <clears throat> my assistant has been making fun of me so long, but you know, I just, I just, I'm not in a rush, you know? Why do I wanna? <laughs> oh, it came out. Try not to. Still want to come out. Okay, how about that? Anyways,、uh, yeah, the meeting, Northwest Orchid Society meeting, was about the p a f i o p e d r o m and hybrids and stuff. And、uh, some people would know that I don't really care about p a f i o Much. I do have some, but、uh, yeah, it's alright. I appreciate the value of the plants, but、uh, for some reason, puffs don't really do much to me. I don't know why. And of course, my wife, my assistant, has been kind of interested in puffs nowadays. So don't be surprised if I have more in my collection later on. I doubt it, but well, you get the idea.、Uh, that's it for now.、Uh, I'm gonna go on to part two and、uh, we'll see you then. Bye.